In this video, we will be demonstrating how Frustum visualization can be used to evaluate the calibration of an optical see-through head-mounted display. The see-through display we are using is the Loomis DK32 Near 2 Eye binocular display. We have attached a Microsoft LifeCam HD6000 camera to facilitate head tracking using a multi-marker fiducial array. The visual system formed by the user's eye and the display's optical components is analogous to the virtual camera system used to render computer-generated geometry in many modern graphics pipelines. The process of calibration seeks to closely match the parameters of the virtual camera to those of the eye display system. Proper calibration will result in correctly registered on-screen objects and will increase the immersiveness of the augmented reality application. The single point active alignment method or SPAM calibration method will be used for this demonstration. To perform SPAM, the user aligns known points on the display screen with a single point in the real world, in this case the center of a fiducial marker. As more alignments are made, the values for the projection matrix can be more accurately estimated. A simple square rendered at the location of the tracking marker provides some feedback to the user about the current accuracy of the calibration. Since only the user can see the verification square, an alternative method must be used to provide information about the calibration accuracy to the researcher. By visualizing the frustum produced by the calibration method, important information about the current state of the calibration can be quickly and intuitively conveyed. The projection matrix produced by calibration consists of two sets of values. Extrinsic parameters correlate to the location of the eye relative to the display screen and are represented by a small virtual sphere in this visualization. Intrinsic parameters describe the viewing frustum used to render the images on the display. These intrinsic values are used to produce the visualization of the viewing frustum seen here. The size of the frustum can be modified by adjusting the locations of the near and far clipping planes. The effectiveness of the calibration can be immediately seen by examining the extrinsic eye location. If the calibration was performed adequately, the location of the virtual camera should closely align with the user's eye. Less accurate calibration will result in a noticeable offset between the eye and camera overlay. The intrinsic values are less intuitive to analyze. However, they can be used to directly render the scene for the display onto the frustum visualization. For this demonstration, a simple virtual teapot is placed onto the tracking marker. As the user moves around the tracking grid, we are able to see when and where the virtual object comes into the user's view. This visualization method allows for quick identification of inadequate or degraded calibration results. It also affords the observer some sense of the user's view. This is vital information which is difficult to obtain when using see-through displays. Even though the visualization method is straightforward, there are still trade-offs to be made in the implementation. Fiducial tracking using a camera allows a very large area over which the user's frustum can be viewed. This tracking method, however, suffers from larger latency than infrared acoustic or magnetic trackers with much smaller volumes and higher accuracy. Effectively evaluating optical see-through display calibration is problematic and largely relies on feedback from the user. We believe that using techniques such as frustum visualization will expand the amount of information available for evaluating calibration results and will greatly aid those investigating new and improved calibration procedures.